Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today I'm going to be doing a video all about my prison pen pal. Okay, so basically I wanted to make this video because every time I tell someone in my life, hey, I'm friends with a prisoner, you know, I speak to them, I have phone calls with them, I get a lot of negative reactions. And I get it, like, I'm sure a lot of you right now are thinking, why on earth would you want to even talk to someone in jail, like, let alone be friends with them, you know? But every time I've explained my experience and why I did this, how I got started, the benefits that both I and the person in prison have had from it, a lot of people do end up understanding and actually admiring our relationship. And I've had quite a few people, like probably five or six people now that have ended up reaching out to prisoners themselves and developing friendships and coming back to me and saying, wow, like, this is such a unique friendship, like, I get it. Okay, so basically, I found out about this through um, my psychology teacher back in England when I was in college. I was 17 at the time, so I should mention that because you can't join until you're 18 just for legal reasons. But anyway, the teacher one day told the class that she wrote to over 20 people in prison. And the whole class started laughing. Everyone was, like, calling her cuckoo and crazy and judging her. And while i was very shocked too i was also very interested so after class i spoke to her and i asked her a few questions about it and she was lovely she explained it all but all i remember is that she kept saying my friend my friend my friend i kept thinking how could you be friends with these people like what if they're murderers and rapists and child molesters like anyway she gave me the name of the website it's called writerprisoner.com i'll link it all down below in case you guys want to check it out but it's usa based prisoner so i'm sure other countries have similar things but this one is primarily for the usa so initially I chose five people, um, four of them were male, one was a female. Um, of those five people, three of them responded to me. So the first two did not even reply to my letter, which at first I kind of thought, hey, like, you guys are on here asking for friends, asking for company, and you didn't reply to me. Like, you, what's wrong with me? Why don't you want to be my friend? But it's okay. The other three I responded to back and forth probably for about three months. Then two of them kind of stopped talking and, you know, I just didn't have a connection with them, which, not that I was looking for, like, a specific type of connection, but we just did not have anything in common. The other person, however, his name is Michael, and we are very good friends still to this day. It's been five and a half years, and we talk every week. We talk on the phone. We email. We write letters longhand. Um, we share birthday cards, Christmas cards, everything you could think of of a normal friendship we have okay so when i first read michael's profile i was actually pretty shocked because all of the other four people that i reached out to their profiles came across as very poorly written let's say um i don't want to assume but they seemed very uneducated which not that i was against talking to these people because of that but it made it very difficult for me to have a discussion because they really didn't have much to talk to me about whereas michael his profile was very well written it was very formal and I remember being surprised because he had stories, poems, his artwork, and a lot of different things on there, which gave me things to initially ask him about. So Michael is actually an incredible writer. Um, he loves painting and drawing too. I'll show you a few things in a moment. But he actually recently sent me a 400-page book that he wants me to try and publish. Not that I know how to publish a book, but obviously me being on the outside, I'm kind of like his lifeline in that sense like you know i do my best to help him with things like i've sold a few of his paintings in the past he's an incredible writer like a few people that have read his books without knowing that he's in prison have loved it sadly the few people that have read it knowing that it's from someone in prison have been very judgmental but the people that have read it without knowing have really really enjoyed it so i think it's a great book my boyfriend thinks it's a great book a lot of people that have read it are very very impressed so I'm gonna do my best to publish it for him, but again, I don't know how, so we'll see. Okay, just to show you guys, this is something he has sent me in the past. This is a painting on a plastic cup, which, I mean, I think is pretty amazing. He sent me a lot of paintings, but this is one of my favorites. This is always on my wall, so I just thought I'd show you guys. I think it's great. I mean, obviously, I might be biased, but like, this guy has talent. <laughs> since i moved to america we've also been actually able to have phone calls he can call me there for 15 minute slots each and honestly i'm not ashamed to say this um i'm sure some people think i would be embarrassed but i'm not he is probably one of my closest friends my boyfriend has spoken to him a few of my friends have spoken to him it is very normal in my life now i haven't actually met michael yet um i am planning to meet him this summer i'm not 100 percent sure if it's gonna work out just because i need to wait to have the money and the time off from school and work to fly out to minnesota which is where he is based but i would like to soon we have always talked about it we have everything in order um visitation forms ready 
for me to visit it's just a matter of when okay guys thank you for listening to my story hopefully this has kind of taught you something that you weren't aware of before whether you are interested in kind of reaching out to prisoners via pen pal email phone call whatever yourself um I advise you to try it. I mean, I promise you the prisoners are definitely going to appreciate it no matter who you choose, female, male, age, whatever the situation that you are comfortable with. It is a very rewarding experience. Like I said, he is my friend now and honestly, he has helped me in many, many ways just the same way as I have helped him. Like, you know, we have supported each other as a normal friendship would on the outside of prison. If there's anything else you'd like to know about this whole process, like writing a prisoner, meeting a prisoner, the whole thing, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to do more videos and comment back to you guys when I can. So yeah, until next time. Bye.